Hey, welcome back to Mama Bear's Homestead and more. Um, you're probably going to see quite a few little um, short videos of the mushroom saga here. Um, but we went and cut our logs. And now it's time to seal the ends up with the wax. And I'll give you a little demonstration how that's done. Uh, actually, I can show you the wax too. Just a little uh, bar of mushroom wax. You can buy it on Amazon, eBay, anywhere like that. Um, it's not really expensive at all. But here, I, you can see I've, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but I've sealed the end grains up on these logs. Um, then when my plugs get here, I'll be able to drill my holes and start um inoculating the log and then we'll want to soak it in water for the 24 hours and then we'll put it in a not full sun not total sh shade um i think it requires 80 percent darkness 20 percent sunlight so where i think on my Home said it'll be a great place to put them is underneath my cedar trees because they're evergreen so the sunlight don't get all the way down through them um so that's where i stack my mushroom logs is under my cedar trees um i'll give you a demonstration of my little setup here to um do my plastic i just got a little propane turkey fryer burner a uh, little cast iron skillet it's pretty handy because I just let it cool off and let leave the hard wax in there so that little skillet right there is a dedicated to mushroom wax but I'll show you how we Drip off. Flip it over and we'll do the other side. Log down, we'll do another one. And if you guys haven't really dug into the benefits of mushrooms and funguses, I highly recommend that because it's a whole different world that uh, we really haven't even tapped into it. There's mushrooms out there that we don't even know exist. Um, there's mushrooms that they've worked with, on with cancer. Um, all right, I got to let you go. Have a great day.